Hey guys, it's Kaylee with another video. So today I'm going to probably go over a bunch of questions because most of the time I don't know what to talk about. So I asked um, my DeviantArt watchers, I asked them to ask me questions. And so they asked me a whole bunch and so I could go over those, which is what I'll do in this video. But first I want to say something real quick. I got new internet, it's called Race, and it's so much faster than my other internet, and I'm so excited. <sighs> um, so pretty much my last video, I, I had the Race internet and I uploaded it, and it took like two minutes, when usually it takes like five-ish, six hours to upload a six-minute video. And, oh man, it takes like a whole day for a video for like 25 minutes so I'm really excited about this new internet and it just is working so great right now and another thing I should probably mention before I get to the questions um, as usual I'll talk about the drawing before I get into all of those so this is a commissioned work for my friend Madam X Hatter She's on DeviantArt and she supports me a lot and she always has me draw these amazing characters. I always enjoy drawing them, so. Um, but this is her character, uh, see I have a reference sheet, Cyril Deaton. I don't know if I said the name right. I can type it out okay, but I could never pronounce anything because I suck. I'm just a little special. Yep. Um... So yeah, this is her character, Cyril, um, and she's having tea with some tentacle monster named Old Roper or whatever, and this tentacle monster has um, the ability to come out of puddles or any type of water substance, that is, and uh, as, as well as um, eyeballs, tentacles and eyeballs are able to pop out of those but I only went with the tentacles for some reason anyway she came up with the theme which was tea time with old roper and um, I just put it together as best as I could mm, yep the characters seem to be very steampunky to me so I kind of tried to apply that to the whole theme of the image the background I don't know if I'm successful but I tried also, if you can't tell how she's sitting, she's like sitting on a stack of plates. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I didn't put a lot of thought into this. I just, it's just sort of happened and I'm like, okay, I'll go with it and keep drawing until it looks good. That's what I've been doing recently. I don't like to put a lot of thought into it. Just pour it out there and, and that's what happens. Because thinking time is money. Okay, I think I said enough about the drawing and whatnot, so now I'm going to move on to the questions, and because I suck at pronouncing people's names, I'm not going to say a name. I'm just going to say the question, and I'm going to give the answer. I'm going to say the question that people have asked and give the answer, yes. Uh, so, alright, let's do this. First question, room tour? I guess they're asking me if they, if I'm willing to video record my room to see where I work. Um, I guess I could do that. I was going to wait because there was like several shelves that I wanted to make first before I even gave a room tour, but it might be funner to see how everything looks right now and then I could do another room tour later and show you all the improvements I've done. That's probably what I'm going to do. But before I do take the room tour, I think I need to buy myself a new chair because I'm kind of embarrassed to show this off to the world. I've had this chair like years before I graduated high school and that was 2006. It's just, it's really bad so I think I should buy a new one first before I record a room tour. But for this video I think I could show you, so just a sec. See, it's terrible. Look at that. <laughs> okay. It's okay to show that photo here because not many people look at these uh, speed draw videos. So, 
Yeah, when I post the room tour video, there's people that will probably be looking up room tour videos in the search engine, and then everyone will see it, and yeah. They won't see this chair in that video, so. Okay, so I will give a room tour soon after I get a new chair. I really want a new chair. <laughs> Next question. Do you have an Instagram? No, I don't. And I don't think I ever will because I can hardly manage the sites I'm on now. Uh, and I only have a few. I, I, I don't know. I'm too lazy to go on every single site and post things on there all the time. I'd rather draw than manage a zillion websites. So you could find me on all the sites that I have listed underneath the video and that should be good enough. You'll find me there. I post my art there and I should be at, I'm most active on the DeviantArt site. So if you wanted to chat with me, you could find me there or send me an email. That's fine too. Okay. Third question. How old are you? Uh, some people think it's super rude to ask someone's age, but I really don't care. My current age from posting this video is 30. I am 30 years young. But some people who have bumped into me said I look younger than I am, so that's cool. It's always a good thing to look younger than what you actually are, so hooray. Okay, next question, number four. Um, actually this one has to do with my Death Chicken comic and I have a Death Chicken artwork that I'm going to be working on for the next video and I think I'll keep it for that one and I'll skip it this time and I'll uh, g get back to it in the next one. So I'm gonna go to the next video. Let's see. Um, I mean, it's not the next video, the next question. What is the maximum airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> this is a Monty Python question. I had to watch that stupid video again just to answer this because I forgot what the answer was. And I honestly don't know what the answer is to this. <laughs> okay, this, this question doesn't have anything to do with anything, so I'm just going to leave it there and walk far away from it. I think I'm going to just do five questions at a time and then I'll stop the video and um, answer the rest on my next ones because this is already at eight minutes and I don't really care for long, long videos. So, okay. Number five. Question. What are the things that have influenced your style over the years? It's so bizarre, yet astonishing and beautiful. Can't love it more than I do. Oh, well, that's a big question. <laughs> I'll try to answer it as best I can. All right, let's see. Um, uh, believe it or not, my biggest influence is probably the Ranma one-half manga. I uh, used to collect it when I was younger, and I just loved it. If, if you're not familiar with the story, it's about a boy who pretty much gets cursed by falling into a some sort of enchanted spring and pretty much when he uh, gets splashed with cold water he becomes a female. It's a really funny manga and I just... Yeah, I collected a whole bunch of those comics but um, stopped like 10 books before the series ended because I felt that the story was getting a little bit too repetitive, but yeah, I, I think it's, a, I loved it and um, I really liked the artwork as well. I tried to mimic that art style all the time when I first started out. Uh, such round drawings and cute faces, yeah, it was great. The second thing I'm probably most influenced by is the Chovitz manga. Ever since I started reading it, I have fallen in love with all the outfits the main character has been wearing, and it's um, the gothic Lolita style, and I just love how it looks on uh, people, so I've tried to incorporate more of that stuff into my work. It's just such poofy dresses and frills. I love it. 
another one I've been influenced by is the Helsing manga. I collected all those comics because I just loved the art style and um, if, if you don't know about this one either, it's about vampires, I guess. It's a very gory comic, It's, but it has its silly moments. But anyway, I just loved how um, detailed all the drawings were in that, and I just wanted to try it out for myself as well. So I think you could see some inspiration in my work from that comic. And of course, I've been inspired by many other things, but I think the th three that I listed are the main ones that I've grown off of. Um, of course, there's a... Uh, Spawn art, if you're not familiar with that, just look it up. There's Black Rock Shooter, look it up if you don't know about it. Uh, Ghibli art, anything Ghibli, I love Ghibli. And then there's other artists online that have also inspired me. A few of them are Emperor Peep. You could probably see influence uh, of his work and my work. And then there's Endling, and Irene Horrors, Beast of Oblivion, Draw Kill, and Deadness. So if you like my style, I, I suggest you to look up the names I just mentioned on DeviantArt. They're, they have an amazing style, and yeah. I'm sure there's more people who inspire me, but those ones I've mentioned are the main top ones, I think. So... I hope I answered that question good enough for now. I'm sure more will come at me later, but I it won't do me any good for this video, so <laughs> that's it for now. But I hope that list is enough to give you an idea of what I am inspired by, so I think I'm going to stop right there. And I'll continue on with the questions in the next video, so I'm going to stop it here. I think it's long enough. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.